When the larval conch hatch, they are called villagers. They have two lobes and are the size of a pencil dot. Villager conch do not have gills, but their lobes help exchange oxygen. The lobes also have cilia to aid in locomotion and the capture of microscopic algae from the water column for food. At five days old, the villagers have developed four lobes. At 10 days, they have developed six lobes. By three weeks old, the villager conch have six elongated lobes, and after having spent all of their time floating in the water column, they begin to test the benthos, or substrate. This is called the swim-crawl stage, and it is one of the signs that the villagers are ready to go through a remarkable metamorphosis into the shape most people recognize as a conch. Just before metamorphosis, the villagers begin to develop morphological structures needed for their new lifestyle in the sand, such as a proboscis for feeding and gills for breathing. Conch settle in the seagrass beds, where they lose their lobes and begin crawling. They are now benthic, or bottom-dwelling animals. The newly metamorphosed conch are the size of a pinhead, and they begin eating microscopic algae right away. These tiny juveniles will often bury themselves in the seagrass beds for their entire first year to hide from would-be predators. After their first year, the conch will emerge from the seagrass beds.